Well, look at these boys and girls, would you? Oh, my God. It's amazing what 15 bucks will do for a band. You know, they, they, they got so much pressure. There's so much pressure in the, in the bluegrass community now to have, a, to have a uniform of sorts. And these guys, obviously, we're feeling a lot of that pressure along the road in all those traditional festivals where guys are wears, wearing suits and ties and all that stuff. And, and I, I think they may have taken it wrong, but <laughs> but they succumbed. They, uh, they got a uniform, but what they didn't realize is that they... It's a bowling uniform, for crying out loud. Look at these boys, girls. Look at them. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the hierarchy is. I think the, the two smart ones were the blue ones. Yeah. And, and, no, never mind. I don't think so. Like I, like I said last night, these guys, they're at the top of the charts right now. For height and weight. Would you please welcome our good friends, some of the finest musicians, we ever get to come across in this country. Do you guys agree? You, get, you love these guys, don't you? I don't have to do anything. I don't have to talk about them. Please welcome to the stage our good friends and some, some fine, fine, fine musicians, Canes River. Every inch of that ground My tears 
teardrops fall like rain on the roof of that blue ridge home where I'm bound. much. Boy, were we embarrassed when we woke up this morning and saw each other for the first time and we were wearing the same thing. It's just such an unfortunate coincidence. Uh, actually, yes, if you've seen Kane's River before, this would be, I believe, the, probably the first time that we've worn matching outfits uh, ever. But uh, we were driving through Utah and stopped at a gas station and they had these shirts for $14.95 a piece. And, uh, and you can't resist that. It was, it was appropriate, I think, the fact it was a gas station because there's actually, it's pretty much petroleum products that it's... It was. It was actually a truck things. stop. Yeah, was, well, truck stop, gas station, Twilla, diner, Utah. and, and cl fine clothier. <laughs> wind, o wind over Utah. That's right. So if you want to head on down there, we don't blame you. It's not too far from here. I think they had a few left. Next year, we can all wear them. We'll be up here, and you guys can all have them, too. I think, yeah, it's one thing to have matching outfits on the stage, but it would be cool to have a matching outfits for the entire crowd. I think that, and fourteen ninety five is hopefully within most people's budget. Maybe you should all take off your clothes. <laughs> that, that'd be matching. No, maybe not. Reminds us of a story of loose ties playing at a nudist colony, but that's, that's a long story we don't want to go into in a family Let's setting. Let's play a song. That's a great idea. Let's play uh, Let It Slide. Just sitting here, it must be clear. I'm full of fear. We won't make it off the ground because today's the day. I'll make a play. Fly away on out of here, get what I need. Since way back when I used to pretend I was fortunate. 
Christian's friend But to tell the truth, the truth is that I've always had Good luck gone bad I've been so sad and no alone I almost gave up Built hundreds of dream towns Abandoned and dead from old age But I'm living this last one So just don't lie to me Stop teasing me Cause it hurts to believe I might finally catch a break from that old man in charge of lucky stars. Please cut these bars and let me go. I'm asking you now. Just let it
Watch in the morning on the Cheyenne and Sioux. But we won't be how long, just a month, maybe two. And upon our return, I will come back to you. And the beautiful hills around Richmond. So tell the girls of the county to pin up their hair, start making the pretty gowns they want to wear. To the ball that we'll throw just as soon as I. Just as soon as I'm there For I want to come back home to Richmond All right, thank you very much. A song from John Lowell, folks. You made that one up? You know, I had a vision this morning when I was putting on my bowling shirt. When I, when I first moved to this... Uh, part of the country. There used to be a bowling alley in Driggs. Does anyone remember that? It, it was, it's been gone for a long time, but I, I thought maybe we should start a new bowling alley. And uh, it could be a bluegrass bowling alley. And the lanes would actually be grass. And um, there'd be live bluegrass. And um, instead of bowling pins, we'd have banjos. What do you think? I think, I think there's some potential. But, uh, Maybe not. Anyway, here's a song about a, uh, a devil-possessed ne'er-do-well. It's um, hopefully not autobiographical. I was born on the right side, big house and a picket fence. How I got to the left side and never seemed to make much sense I had a strong foundation, Lord knows mama tried I was born on a black night with the devil by my side So long Sally Johnson, I think of you today You know I tried to do you right but the devil got in my way I lit out at 15 in a burned out Cadillac trail of wreckage and I never once look back. Now I'm a wanted criminal but you'll never see my face. I linger in the shadows and I'm gone without a trace. So long Sally Johnson. I think of you today. You know I tried to do you right but the devil got in my way. to be my bride. We walked the aisle together with the devil by my side. The night the wind blew, in the morning she was gone. So long, Sally Johnson, I know I've done you wrong. on our most recent uh, album, Same River Twice. This is one we're pulling out from the old self-titled Canes River record. It's one that I wrote and one that Julie sings about a, a guy who's actually possibly crazy. 
because he's, uh, he's talking about the sea of South Dakota, which is, hasn't happened in a while. It was back, way back when. It's old, old time music. That's right. Yeah, not quite, but. But Julie does such a mighty fine job of singing it. I was hoping, by the way, these shirts maybe would give you the uh, feel like you're back in North Carolina. I know that I'm working up a nice sweat with this thing on. <laughs> anyway, this one's called Sea of South Dakota. Front 
stairs And the sweet smell of lilacs Seems to hang in the air And all through the oak trees The sunlight makes shadows that dance on the ground Another spring day is well on its way In this little town Well, he leaves the house early And he walks to his store He flips the sign in the window Sweeps the old wooden floor And then day after day He puts on a smile for the folks coming round That's just what you do Especially when you live in this little town Oh, but late in the evening When he's all by himself He takes down the picture That sits on the shelf He still hears her voice Remembers her touch as he slowly sits down Someday he'll be weathered Won't have to live in this little town from the same river twice. An important executive meeting deciding of what we're going to do next, and I believe it's going to be a song. That's right. Wow. We like to be on the cutting edge and think outside the envelope or something like that. This is one that was on our original Kings River record. Julie wrote it when she was back in North Carolina, and yet she's back there again, but it's... She wants to write another song. Yeah. <laughs> It's all about being homesick for Montana and or wherever else you might be from. <laughs> it's called Take Me Back Home. In my mind I could see the fence post name and the hills roll on forever. I said goodbye to the big sky, hello to the city lights. What I wouldn't give if I could go back. All oh, the big city fooled me with her 
control Now she holds me with her steel and concrete on I left my home far away But it will never leave me From up here on this high rise I began to realize It's only on this ladder that I How the wind gently whispers through the tree That old barn is covered in all me I left my home far away But it will never leave me Time has a way Of making me see The things I once took for granted are what matter most to me When you find yourself alone You can see what is lost This world's in such a hurry All the anger, fear and worry Don't take me back home Thank you. It's Julie Elkins, folks. All righty then. Thank you, my people. Hey, do we have any fish fans in the audience? They're, uh, they're giving their final concert ever this weekend back in Vermont. And um, I think... We should all think about them because it's uh, supposedly rained like six inches there. There's 70,000 people out in the field, and uh, it's supposed to rain six inches. And uh, so I think us here thinking about them might be better than them there thinking about bluegrass. I don't know. We're glad you chose to be here. And uh, while we're on the fish theme, we're going to do a fishing song. That um, Fish never got around to recording this one, but... Um, I'd like to send this one out to my friend Lawrence Smart, great mandolin builder, and uh, Lawrence made up the name of this song before it was even a song. It's one called Madison Brown. One, two, three. 
Well, when I was a little boy upon my daddy's knee, he used to tell me stories of the big fish in the sea. But the tale I fancied most took place in our hometown about a living legend by the name of Madison Brown. A German speckled beauty with gold around her gills. She's three feet long from head to tail and older than the hills. Graceful as a dancer, faster than a blade. She used to taunt the fishermen who were secretly afraid of Madison Brown. Somewhere in the icy deep beneath the mossy crown lies a queen of the river by the name of Madison Brown, Madison Brown. Seldom seen and never caught, she lives a life of charm. From the railroad bridge to the waterfall down by Duncan's farm. And every spring when the water clears and the mayflies start to dance, the people come from all around to line up for a chance of Madison Brown. Back in 1932, beneath the stormy sky, old Jackie Taylor hooked her on a homemade damselfly. She fought with wild abandon till his arm turned blue. He finally played her to the shore. She laid there by his shoe. Oh, but as he reached down with his net, she took off in the air. Old Jackie swears she hollered that she'll never catch me here. Then he tried once more in vain, but his reel had turned to stone. And in his other hand, he held the twisted fly that she had thrown. Somewhere in the icy deep beneath the mossy crown lies the queen of the river by the name of Madison Brown, Madison Brown. Late one night I stood alone, the water flowing black I cast a silver doctor, her favorite midnight snack And in the deathly silence, she took off with my fly And as she raced before me, she winked her steely eye The dawn just lit the mountains when she finally came to shore I trembled at her beauty and was shaken to the core So don't tell this to anyone, but I let her slip away Back to that old river where she still rules today Fifty years have come and gone, I lie awake at night And I dream about a river and the time I held her tight Somewhere in the icy deep beneath the mossy crown Lies the queen of the river by the name of Madison Brown Madison Brown Madison Brown Thank you. A song of catch and release. That's right. Well, that was a song we did on a record uh, a couple years ago called Fishing Music, and um, it's one that Dave here and myself recorded, and we're going to do another song from that record right now. We'd like to bring up a special guest. If you'd please make welcome to the stage a guy that's been on this Targi stage many times over the years, including the very first year back when it was out in the swamp over there. Uh, this is Phil Round, everybody. I just wanted to ask, Ben, are the horse flies here this year? There's, there's some small pesky flies that don't bite, but they only seem to be bothering me. <laughs> I actually had one on the first song we played today. I had one between my glasses and my eye. And uh, it, was, it was entertaining for me and for him, I think. We're going to do a song... Uh, Written by uh, the Hoganator. That's what his friends called him. Of course, I'm talking about Hoagie Carmichael. But, um... Dave, are you really this tall? No. I just play on my tiptoes just to keep on air. <laughs> Good idea. Well, thank you guys. I'm going to screw up your set here. Hey, you don't have a bowling shirt. I mean, what's up with that? You know, John, I was looking for some electrical tape so I could 
because I could do the magic yeah, thing. Yeah, I was gonna would... wrap it around my arms. And... We might be able to find you soon. Okay, we're going to have Phil sing a song off of uh, the Fish and Music CD. And uh, this is, a, like Ben said, a hoagie, hoagie car, Mike. I, I'm getting hungry just to say in his name. Oh, wait, I have a fly between my glasses and my eye. Matter of fact, I have two of them, one in each eye. Okay. This is a, this is a cool old song. It's called Up a Lazy River. <laughs> <laughs> 